And a very good night to you, Vincent Price. A reminder, next week our feature film is The Long Days Dying at the same time of 11 o'clock. Just look here, lend an ear, you'll appreciate this beer. It's not run of the mill, I'd say. It is such, ask my old Dutch, that, that it can't be praised too much. Get two lips around a pint today. Orangey boom, orangey boom, it's a lager, not a tune. Orangey boom, the order of the day. Draft orangey boom, now brewed in the UK. Boom, 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 boom. In just a few moments' time, of course, our usual late-night look at the weather forecast for the Thames television area. But now we come to our final programme for this evening, Night Thoughts. For some years, I've been secretary of the Conference of the Methodist Church. That's its governing body, or parliament. We meet once a year for about ten days, and each night this week I'd like to share some of the highlights of this year's conference. Soon after the conference begins, we welcome the representatives from other Methodist churches around the world. They process onto the platform, and it always gives me a thrill to see them from Africa, Asia, Australia, America, Europe, some of them in their native costume. This year a representative from Hungary spoke to us about how the church is faring in a communist country. The Methodist Church was founded by John and Charles Wesley in the 18th century. They were remarkable men. John travelled thousands of miles on horseback, preaching the gospel wherever he went. His brother Charles was one of the greatest hymn writers of all time. And today his hymns are sung by Christians in all the churches all over the world. One of them begins, See how great a flame aspires, kindled by a spark of grace. Well, he could say that again because the Methodist Church has about 50 million members now in over uh, 90 countries. Yet these denominational labels mean less and less as the followers of Jesus realize that they're all one in Him. And that I see as a sign of hope for the future. Now the weather forecast. Tonight, dry and warm. And Tuesday will be a dry and fairly sunny day, warm in the afternoon, with a high of 25 degrees centigrade, that's 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The northeasterly wind a little stronger than today. And that's the weather, and that's just about it. But of course, we're back with you later on this morning at 9.25 with the Thames News headlines. Hopefully I'll have the pleasure of your company tomorrow evening when it's 7. That wee lass from Glasgow. Lulu tops the bill with the video entertainers. Further afield, at 7.30, there's drama on the streets of San Francisco. And at half past eight, we invite you to cast off for comedy once again with Don't Rock the Boat. Our musical entertainment all this particular week comes from a great new LP which has the title of Ebony. This particular track we've chosen is Johnny Mathis, and I'm stone in love with you from all of us here at... Just keep in touch now. Do you hear? When you've a phone, miles don't matter at all, and it doesn't cost much to keep in touch. You know, the Chinese paint their eggs and leave them for hundreds of years. Do they? Why? Who knows? The unscrutable ornamental mind cannot be unlocked. Like Ted Shedd. You wouldn't catch me leaving a golden lay egg for hundreds of years. No. You'd never stand the waiting. Golden lay. The golden yolk with the taste of the country.
Right then, it's Jan, isn't it? Yep. Now, you've seen our Pepsi challenge on the television, haven't you? Yes. And you don't believe it? No. You don't? I know I don't. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, clever diggy. Well, you can do the Pepsi challenge, taste them two colas, and you tell me which taste you prefer. That one. You prefer that one? Yeah. Well, lift it up and let's see what it is. <laughs> Take the Pepsi challenge. Let your taste decide. Just started a few moments ago on Channel 4, Mothers by Daughters. Tonight, Maureen Lipman talks about her mother, Zelma Lipman, on Channel 4. Where are they going to sleep? 